And you get these, you know, uh, so-called illiterate people would give you a 30-verse poem that told of incidences and things and happiness and sadness. Uh, it was their way of documenting it without a written, written thing. And just, you blow the mouth up anywhere. You see, not playing with a band, you've got your own time and you can talk whenever you like. Don't give a bugger if you make a blue, you know. Just... Uh, and this particular song is the only one that I actually wrote the words down on a droving camp in 1968. And I've got an old cereal packet, inside of a cereal packet, I wrote it with a pencil laying in a swag, looking up at the infinity of the night sky, you know? Just a gorgeous, gorgeous. You know, you're a little homo sapien here, you know, out in the middle of this just vast expanse of the universe underneath this thing. And I just wrote down things that moved my spirit. If us young lads were getting a bit rough as little kids, you know, old granny would say, hey, hey, knock him off. You've got to be gentle. You've got to be gentle. You've got to be like sunlight. Moonlight on your skin. And the singer doesn't own the song. They didn't oh, write God, the song. No, no that, that's it. You're only the custodian of it. And the, the, the dance is the visual image or interpretation of the song. So it's very hard to have the music without the dance and the story within both is interconnected. How long? But at night time, you'd lay back in the swag there and man. You heard this earth shattering, symphonies, orchestra, Beethoven, and Chopin and Schubert. In the middle of the bush there. Middle of the bush, man, and all these bloody... So we used to have a little protest, right? <laughs> and you could have your protest in the park. The moment your toe hit that road, the policemen would have you. And there'd be about 50 of us, max, with 200 policemen. They'd call them in from Gundawindi and Roma and Flo <laughs> Dolby and that, to protect us, of course. <laughs> Underneath the bloody seatbelt on my bike, there's a bloody parking fine. Five dollars. Bugger this, because it's the 75th anniversary of the University of Queensland. Four foot by eight foot, 32 foot, five dollars for 12 hours. Which is ten dollars for 24 hours on 32 square foot. Now, that university has been there 75 years on 52 acres. I've jumped her land, black fellow land, see? So I've got the calculator out and sat down, comes to like trillions and billions and millions and millions and millions. The typewriter was given up, the calculator had already given up, you know, sort of down, down page, 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 minus your five. How <laughs> <laughs> oh, the bee could see that he could not be bored or so. Well, he took his life and liberty free. Anyway. Two weeks later, I got a letter back through the internal mail that says, Dear Mr. Carmody, find his waiver. <laughs> <laughs> Our spirit walks with you. Thank you. <laughs>